So, so now let's move to protocol emulation. So now that it describes the protocol, the, the model, we can uh, uh, define this notion of what does it mean for one protocol to emulate another protocol, which is kind of similar, slightly more general than the notion before of, uh, of, of realize. Okay, so just instead of, uh, before this guy was just a, a specification, now I'm saying, forget it, it's just a protocol. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and let's just say what it means for one protocol to, 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 to emulate another. Okay? And it's exactly the same definition, right? Except that here, uh, since I have the adversary, I have an adversary here and have an adversary here. But uh, here, it's just like this is the model of execution from here and this is the model of execution here. Uh, and uh, uh, the simulator and the adversary play exactly the same role. It's a symmetric role. Okay? So I'm saying that a protocol pi uc emulates protocol phi. Uh, and now I have this quantifier here. So for all adversary A, there exists an adversary S a similar to such that for all E, uh, the, um, the execution here in the same, have the same, it looks the same as the execution here. It means like the, the output of the environment is the same here and here. And you can think of the output of the environment as just one bit, which is, you know, environment trying to guess if it's here or here. Okay? So, uh, um, and it can't because the, the, the probability of the output being one is the same, almost the same in both sides, both sides. Okay? Um, so this is, the, so this is essentially the same, the same definition as before, except that uh, uh, here, I'm basically allowing also here uh, 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 having an adversary. This definition turns out to be equivalent to another definition where instead of quantifying for all A, you just consider one specific A. And that's kind of the, the, the simple dummy adversary that just you know, relays all instructions of the environment to there and just, just a channel. And so, uh, okay. And, and, and then you are really back to the previous definition. So, so what's a balanced environment? If uh, uh, the environment, um, the balanced environment the environment that actually uh, uh, does, that gives uh, um, input to the adversary, I mean, run, remember that we defined uh, runtime is a function of the input size. So, 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 so there could be a problem if the environment actually doesn't give the adversary a lot of input, just say, zero input, but give a lot of input to the, to the protocols, then this poor adversary is not even have enough runtime to, to, to simulate those protocols, and then things go wrong, and you can do stupidities and stuff like that. So, uh, so in order to prevent that, you actually force the environment to give at least enough, uh, nothing much, but you need to say it, in order to talk about phenomenal time in a meaningful way. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, um, so, 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 that's, so that's essentially it, um, okay? In terms of the, for the, for the so, but ask, ask, it's kind of like, uh, it's, I know it's a lot. It's, uh, um, okay, so as I said, uh, security with a dummy adversary is equivalent to the one, as I said before. Um, so one thing to notice is that emulation is transitive just because the way it's structured. Uh, so if a protocol A, U, C emulates protocol B, and B, U, C emulates protocol C, as a, then A emulates C, right? Um, that's not yet composition, but it's transitivity in some sense. Um, and uh, then you can also have quantitative formulations of this, which measure exactly the complexity overhead of the, of the simulator versus A, how much more does S have to run in order to simulate A, and the probability of distinguishing, et cetera, but let's not go there, you can do that. And then you can actually measure in the composition how much you lose, and you lose whatever you expect. 